right guys welcome back to the YouTube channel and uh, today we're just gonna get right into it I'm gonna show you how to really remove the gauge clusters from 87 to 90 Chevy Celebrity Eurosport base model it don't matter they're all the same uh, 82 to 86 is a little bit different but I'm just gonna cover in this video 87 to 90 alright so the first thing you want to know is uh, this whole trim pedal has to come off and to do that, you have to remove first <clears throat> the cigarette lighter goes through this hole and it screws on, this piece screws on to the back of the cigarette lighter, which makes it flush and holds it against this panel, but it's through this cover so it's not going to come off. You can't remove this whole piece until you remove that. Then you have one, one fill of head screw two of them and three of them and then you have the headlight um, switch that you got to remove and to get that guy off you have this right here and to remove it there's a little clip as you can see it right here on the back camera's not wanting to focus today um, you push this clip in and then it pops it right off usually I take a flathead screwdriver like this small push it into this guy, push it downward and it pops off. Then once you get that off, you have this piece right here that screws on. Take a flat head, put it in this notch, and then it will unscrew just like this and will come out. It actually screws on to this guy right here, just like so. Then, after you get those atoms out, <clears throat> the uh, whole trim panel should pop off very easily with a little bit of wiggling uh, it should just pop right out then you have the dash pad piece that lays on top of the dash to cover the cluster now that is, there is one seven millimeter bolt and then you have another one on this end that takes it out once you do that <clears throat> this whole piece as you see it has clips in it that lock it in one two three four five um two of them are broke so that's why there's only three all right so they go in like this it's kind of a little kind of hard to do with one hand um they kind of go upward and they lock in just like that and that's how you get down off and on First of all, you wiggle it like that, and it comes right out. All right, so the next thing you want to do, if you're replacing the whole cluster, to get it out, very simple. One 7 millimeter bolt. Then there's another one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then once you get those out, just wiggle it gently, pull the whole thing out, it comes right out. Um, the main harness plug just kind of like slides into the cluster. You don't have to go behind it and squeeze it or undo it. These don't have a speedometer cable, so you don't have to worry about that like the 82 and 86 models do. Uh, that could be a pain of getting this out. But for this, you just do that and the whole thing pops out. Um... If you're doing what I was doing, which is switching the gauges themselves, you take this one, this one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, the top three are Phillip head screw bolts that takes this plastic cover off. Then you have a uh, 5.5 millimeter little head screw bolts that come out and then the whole front glass piece will come off which is this guy right here it comes right off once you get that off then this piece comes out it comes off too as well then you're able to get to the gauges to swap your gauges out you have a uh, another 5.5 uh, for each gauge to take it out you actually have one, two, three, four, and these gauges 
literally you wiggle them back and forth they pop right out of their socket to put them back or you can change the bulbs this way too um, put them back in their little socket it's kind of hard to do with my left hand I'm right handed now pops right back in you put the bolts back in you changed your gauge you put everything back it's very simple you put everything back together I'm pretty much going to show you how I put it back so you just do everything in the reverse order lock the clips in just like that give it a little little love tap and then uh, put your two seven millimeter bolts back in here now usually what I like to do whenever putting these bolts back in is taking just the socket put it in your hand and tightening it that way snug easily they break off so many times it's very very common all it is is a plastic little piece that that screw bolts into and these shatter off every single time I've taken these apart and this one did the same thing to me when I took it apart uh, this side broke this side didn't it's in even if both sides break my Eurosport did that it's not gonna hurt it uh, the the piece still locks itself in once you put this piece back in it bolts to the bottom of the cluster and it actually holds everything in and doesn't let it go anywhere so all right pull the shifter down if you've got it on the column wipe this down whatever you're gonna do pop it back on you want to make sure you pull the column down if you have a tilt column most of these do I've not really seen many of these that don't have a tilt column kind of have to wiggle it into place carefully putting it on the headlight switch first then kind of setting it up there's like a little edge that has to fit in over here. Alright, so now it's popped in. My uh, year sport didn't have that little piece that pops in, but you kind of have to put the trim piece into this way a little bit. Watching the switch, don't mess it up. Pull this up a little bit because it'll hit when you're trying to push this back on. Put it back in park. Put the column back in. Put the three screws that go on the bottom and uh, finish putting everything back. Like I said, this pretty much goes on. It doesn't have to be tight, just as long as it's snug. This is usually how I do it every time. And that's usually done. I don't go any tighter than that. You can strip it, break it. This stuff is brittle, it's old, you can't find these parts anymore. And then turn this switch around, I mean the uh, knob, to it lines up. It has a uh, slot in it, so it lines up a certain way. Turn it around till it fits on. Push, and then it's locked in. Just like so. And then uh, the cigarette lighter, it goes straight in, just like that. And then you go underneath the dash panel. And you've got to remove this guy that goes on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, screws. Takes it out. Once you, then you can actually uh, get into here on the back side where the ashtrays in, and then between the column, fit your fingers in between to actually take this guy push it on and screw it on and tighten it down you don't have to go crazy tight once you do that then you plug the uh, main plug that's inside of here and then you plug the plug back in it's right on the back side that just pops right into the back of this cigarette lighter um, and then once you do that, everything's done. And once you do that, everything's done. Ready to go. Fire it back up. And the gauges work. Because so I had a problem with uh, the temperature gauge reading incorrectly. Um, so I had another spare parts that works from the junkyard I picked up. And swapped the gauges out. So now that the gauge actually reads correctly, hopefully, for the temperature. But I hope this helps out, even though the camera was shaky. A lot of information was missed, I'm sure. Um, just, you know, I hope this helps somebody out that's looking for, you know, help to remove these. There's not any videos or any content for these cars anymore. You can't find parts, so 
I'm pretty much the only guy out here that's doing certain things like this. There's a few others from the uh, Facebook forum of guys like me that have these cars. Um, but there's not many videos on YouTube to really cover certain things of repairing things. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the bottom. I'll try my best to get to them as always. And uh, like, share, subscribe. Have a notification bell on so every time I upload, you get the notification. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.